In my lab, we study climate change and its effects on populations of bats in the Bahamas. Lots of species have been affected by climate change over time, but bats have been affected at a greater rate and more dramatically than some other species, and particularly in areas like the Bahamas where there are chains of small islands. Fortunately, we have a great fossil record of bats in the Bahamas, and we know that about five to 3,000 years ago, many of the species of bats that used to occur there went extinct. That could be the result of climate change, but it's definitely before humans got to the islands of the Bahamas, so we know that it couldn't be simply human-induced. So what we do in our lab is we travel to the Bahamas, we crawl through dirty caves, and we collect bats. When we collect the bats, we can take a tiny piece of tissue from their wing, and from that, we can sequence their whole genome. We come back to the lab, we sequence DNA, and from the DNA, we can learn all about the populations of the bats in the Bahamas and not just the populations as they exist now, but written in their DNA is a history of their populations. And so we can see when populations crashed in the past or when neighboring populations came together in the past. And that gives us a lot of information about what has happened to these populations as it relates to or is caused by climate change. So what we found in our research is that for the different species of bats that occur in the Bahamas, many of them are somewhat unique genetically on certain islands, meaning they don't move between islands and interbreed with bats from other islands. And so that tells us that every island is interesting and worthy of some level of protection for these bats, which are threatened and vulnerable. Um, and we've also learned that climate change did have dramatic effects and, and caused some of the extinctions that we see, but they can't explain all of it. And so we have a lot more research to do to try to understand what the ultimate effects of climate change were on these bat populations in the Bahamas. So there are several impacts from our research. Part of it relates to what we learn about the bats that live in the Bahamas, of course. But really, we're doing this to learn more about not just bat species, but all species, and not just about what would happen to them from climate change in the Bahamas, but anywhere in the world. These bats, and especially bats in the Bahamas, are a great model system for us, but we can apply what we learn there to any population anywhere in the world.